So today I'm going to talk about why I came out as an energy healer. <laughs> and the reason is I probably should begin by saying why I was afraid to do it before. And the thing is, you know, I've helped clients with love. I've helped people with love for a, a while. And I would use some some things to help them that I didn't realize at the time were energy healing things. And it was not um, something that I understood that well. But I saw that it was helping people. So I thought that was great. And the problem was it was really, um, it was like draining for me. It was just taking a lot out of me because I wasn't, um, I didn't have a structure for it. I wasn't very skilled in doing it. And it would just be like giving, 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 giving. And um, it wasn't good for me to do that. But I loved that it was helping my clients. And I real I began to realize that although it was helping my clients, it wasn't, I wasn't taking care of myself. So I just, I didn't ever advertise that I did anything involving energy because like I said, I didn't realize that um, that it was an energy healing type of a thing. I just knew that I would kind of know things about my clients um, and I couldn't really my, um, explain how I knew them and I knew that I would be able to guide them through different kinds of meditations and visualizations and they would be crying afterwards and um, feel a release and feel a shift and different things like that and so there were there were different things that I was doing and that were like energy healing and I didn't realize that that's what was going on. I just knew that my clients loved them. So recently I went to a workshop to actually understand and learn how to do energy healing. And at the workshop I discovered that I had a fear of doing that work. I wanted to understand it. I wanted to know what was going on, but I was afraid to actually do that work. And even though I was doing a little bit of it, uh, there was this fear. And it was a fear of a lot of things. It was a fear of being seen and judged. It was a fear of being um, thought of as a crazy person. Um, a lot of different things had come up during that. So I actually had the opportunity to heal those fears and decided, hey, you know what? You need me to step it up and go to another level of service. So I decided that it was time for me to do that as soon as I healed those fears. And, you know, if you are ever doing anything in your life that you know there's always something that you're kind of hiding a little bit that you might be hiding out of fear or some way that you're keeping yourself smaller than you can be and it's out of fear so I just want to encourage you if you have something that you're hiding about yourself and you're hiding it out of fear I understand how you feel <laughs> and it's it can be scary especially when you're afraid that people are gonna think that you're crazy or that people are gonna judge you in a negative way um, it can be really scary so I understand that but I want to encourage you because on the other side of that fear the other side of taking that leap you can do a lot of good things in the world you can do a lot of good things to help people you can do a lot of good things to help yourself and your family, you know, and people you know. Once I actually became, um, once I actually learned how to use energy healing for different things, whether it was healing belief work or healing or doing intuitive readings or doing um, intuitive, um, like asking for guidance of the future or asking for guidance for decisions, all of those kinds of things, manifesting once I understood how those things worked and the idea that they were really all um, different types of a healing, um, once I understood those things after going through that workshop, 
which was like life changing, um, I actually was able to do some of those things like in a really um, powerful and unexpected way, you know, like um, things like healing my own headaches, things like um, manifesting things for friends, you know, different things were able to happen much more easily. And, you know, I have my love manifesting course, which shows you how to clear different blocks so that you can bring love into your life. But I was actually inspired after asking for guidance to make that course have much, much more in it for you. So there are a lot of different things happened when I, um, when I decided to come out as an energy healer. A lot of really um, cool things started to come together for me in my life. So, that's my story about coming out as an energy healer. And if you have, again, if there's anything in your life that you're concerned about or you're, you're just like some part of you that you're trying to hide, I, I would just so encourage you to really see if it's something that can help other people. And if it is, then work through that fear because people need you. People need you. You. So your gifts are important. Whatever it is that you're here to do, you have a responsibility to do it, to figure out what it is and to do it. And if there's anything I can do to help you on that journey, then I would love to do that for you. So um, you can always find me at my website. I'd love if you come and say hello. It's Carissa Montooth, C-A-R-I-S-1-S-A. Montooth, M-O-N-T-O-O-T-H. You'll probably see it at the bottom as well. And you can also follow me on Periscope because I scope about all kinds of stuff. Um, I scope about things that are not in my blogs. So often I'll do, I do a series called Ask a Love Coach. So if you have questions, you can email me your questions and I'll Periscope about them. Um, so I'd love to see you over there and I'd love to get your comments below on uh, what thing that you feel like you might be hiding that you could bring out of you or you can also let me know what you think might be blocking you. If it's a fear that's blocking you, if there's um, anything that I can help you with in that area, please let me know in the comments. I would love to do that or you can email me from my website. All right. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.